Emily and Twinkle Leaf's Magical Seasons Once upon a time, in the whimsical world of the enchanted forest, lived a young girl named Emily and her magical elf friend, Twinkle Leaf. Emily loved spending time with Twinkle Leaf, learning about the wonders of nature and the changing seasons. One sunny morning, Emily and Twinkle Leaf set out on a magical journey to explore the four seasons and their enchanting secrets. Through a mystical doorway inside a secret cave, hidden behind Rainbow Waterfall, their journey started with the first step. Spring, the awakening of nature. Emily and Twinkle Leaf marveled at the awakening of nature. Emily noticed a colorful array of flowers blooming across the meadows. She said, Twinkle Leaf, it feels like the world is coming alive again. The flowers are so beautiful. Why do they bloom in spring? Emily's eyes shined with excitement. Spring is a time of rebirth and growth, Twinkle Leaf explained. It's when nature awakens from its winter slumber, bringing new life to the world. Let me tell you about the magic of spring. The flowers bloom in spring because the warmer temperatures and increased sunlight provide the perfect conditions for them to grow, Twinkle Leaf explained. They produce nectar and pollen, attracting bees, butterflies, and other pollinators to help them reproduce. Emily watched in awe as a butterfly gracefully flitted from one flower to another, spreading pollen as it went. So, these pollinators help the flowers make seeds and create more plants, she said, understanding the vital role of the insects in the cycle of life. Exactly Emily, Twinkle Leaf said. Without pollinators, many plants wouldn't be able to produce fruits and seeds, which are essential for the continuation of their species. Emily observed buds appearing on the branches and tiny green shoots poking through the ground. Those are the signs of new growth, right? She asked. Yes, exactly, Twinkle Leaf said. The buds on the trees are filled with new leaves and flowers, and the shoots are the young plants emerging from the soil. As they strolled further, Emily noticed a small pond filled with lively tadpoles swimming in the water. Look Twinkle Leaf, the frogs are back too, she exclaimed. Yes, spring is a time when many animals come out of hibernation or dormancy, Twinkle Leaf explained. Frogs, along with other creatures, begin their life cycles anew. As they sat by the pond, they saw a mother duck leading her ducklings across the water. It's a time for new families and new beginnings, Emily said with a smile. Indeed, Emily, Twinkle Leaf agreed. Spring is a season of hope and renewal, where nature shows us that life always finds a way. With each step they took, Emily and Twinkle Leaf embraced the science behind the enchanting spring season, deepening their appreciation for the wonders of the natural world. The awakening forest filled them with a sense of wonder and gratitude, knowing that every creature and plant played a vital role in the circle of life. Their educational journey continued. Summer fun under the sun. Twinkle Leaf, summer feels so alive and full of energy. It's a time for fun and exploration, Emily said, twirling around with joy. Indeed, Emily, Twinkle Leaf replied, his eyes sparkling with delight. Summer is a season of abundance and activity. But it's also crucial to stay hydrated and take care of the environment, so the rivers and lakes stay clean and full of life. Let me tell you about the magic of summer. He began to explain the science behind the energetic season. As the Earth's axis tilts towards the sun, the days become longer, and the sun's rays shine more directly on the enchanted forest. This brings about warmer temperatures and a surge of energy in the natural world. Emily felt the warmth of the sun on her skin, embracing the life-giving rays. The sun is so important for life, isn't it? She asked. Yes, Emily, the sun is the ultimate source of energy for almost all life on Earth, Twinkle Leaf confirmed. Plants use sunlight to carry out photosynthesis, which allows them to create their own food. And that, in turn, sustains all the creatures in the enchanted forest. As they ventured through the flourishing forest, Emily marveled at the diversity of creatures that came alive in the summer. Butterflies danced gracefully from flower to flower, and birds sang melodious songs from the treetops. The forest is alive with so many sounds, Emily exclaimed captivated by the symphony of nature. Indeed, Twinkle Leaf said. During the summer, animals are busy foraging for food and raising their young. It's a season of abundance, where nature provides everything they need. They reached a sparkling river, where fish darted playfully in the water. Look Twinkle Leaf. The fish are so active too, Emily observed. 
Yes, the warmer water temperatures make it easier for fish and other aquatic creatures to thrive and find food, Twinkle Leaf explained. Summer is a time when aquatic ecosystems teem with life. As they continued their summer journey, Emily noticed the importance of water in sustaining life during this vibrant season. The rivers and lakes are essential for all living beings, she said. Absolutely, Twinkle Leaf agreed. Water is a precious resource that supports life in the enchanted forest. It's vital to stay mindful of conserving water and protecting these precious ecosystems. As the sun began to set, Emily and Twinkle Leaf sat under the shade of a grand old tree, feeling the cool breeze that carried the scent of blooming flowers. They cherished the science behind the energetic summer season, deepening their appreciation for the beauty and vitality of the natural world. Their journey continued. Autumn, the artistry of colors. As Emily and Twinkle Leaf continued their enchanting journey through the seasons, they found themselves surrounded by the breathtaking beauty of autumn. The once green leaves on the trees had transformed into a mesmerizing array of reds, oranges, and yellows. Autumn is a magical time of transformation, Twinkle Leaf said. The leaves change colors as the trees store their energy for the cold winter ahead. Twinkle Leaf, why do the leaves change colors in autumn? Emily asked. Her curiosity piqued by the magical transformation. Twinkle Leaf smiled and beckoned Emily to sit beneath a grand oak tree, adorned with vibrant leaves. Ah, that's a wonderful question, my dear friend, he said. The science behind the changing colors of leaves is quite fascinating. He began to explain. During the warm months, leaves are green because of chlorophyll, a pigment that helps plants convert sunlight into food through photosynthesis. But as the days grow shorter and cooler in autumn, the chlorophyll production slows down, revealing the other pigments present in the leaves. Twinkle Leaf pointed to the tree's leaves, each one painted with different hues. Those vivid reds and purples come from anthocyanins, while the bright yellows and oranges are due to carotenoids, he said. Emily listened intently, her eyes widening in wonder. So, the colors were always there, hidden beneath the green, she asked. Yes, exactly. Twinkle Leaf confirmed. As the chlorophyll fades away, these other pigments take center stage, showcasing the true kaleidoscope of colors that lie within the leaves. Isn't it amazing, Twinkle Leaf? Emily whispered in awe. Indeed. And the changing colors of autumn remind us of the cycle of life. As the leaves fall to the ground and decompose, they nourish the soil, allowing new life to bloom in the following spring. As they continued their walk through the autumn forest, Emily noticed that not all trees changed color in the same way. Some trees displayed fiery red leaves, while others had a warm golden glow. That's because different tree species have varying amounts of pigments and respond uniquely to the changing temperatures, Twinkle Leaf explained. It's a magical collaboration of science and nature that creates this spectacular autumnal display. Emily marveled at the intricate science behind the changing colors, realizing that there was a scientific explanation for every enchanting detail of nature. She felt a deeper connection to the world around her as she learned the fascinating secrets hidden within the seasons. Their journey through the autumn forest led them to a clearing where leaves softly rustled in the gentle breeze. The setting sun cast a warm glow, painting the entire landscape in a golden hue. They continued on to the next season. Winter, a frosty wonderland. Twinkle Leaf, how does winter make everything so magical? Emily asked, marveling at the sparkling snowflakes that fell from the sky. Oh, winter is a season of enchantment and transformation, Twinkle Leaf replied, his voice filled with warmth despite the cold. It's all thanks to the unique properties of water. He began to explain the science behind winter's magic. When the temperature drops, the water vapor in the air condenses into tiny ice crystals, forming snowflakes. Each snowflake is intricately shaped, and no two are exactly alike. Every snowflake is special, said Twinkle Leaf. Just like the magic within you Emily. Winter is a time of wonder and reflection. Emily's eyes sparkled with curiosity. So, all these beautiful snowflakes are made from frozen water vapor? That's right, Twinkle Leaf said, nodding. And when billions of these delicate snowflakes come together, they create a soft, powdery blanket that covers the land in a dazzling white. As they continued their winter journey, Emily noticed how the snow seemed to transform the world into a hushed and peaceful place. The once bustling streams were now frozen, and the lakes were covered in a layer of ice. Look, Twinkle Leaf, the water turned into ice, Emily exclaimed, 
pointing to a frozen pond where children were skating joyfully. Indeed, Emily, Twinkle Leaf said. When the temperature drops below freezing, liquid water becomes solid ice. This transformation helps animals like bears and frogs survive the cold by hibernating or going into a deep sleep. Emily was fascinated by the science behind the winter season. And what about the frost on the windows and leaves? She asked, noticing the delicate patterns adorning the world. Frost is another marvel of winter, Twinkle Leaf explained. When the air is cold and damp, water vapor in the air can turn directly into ice crystals, forming those beautiful frost patterns you see. As they wandered deeper into the winter wonderland, Emily marveled at the beauty of the snow-covered trees in the enchanted forest, asking, Is there science behind how the snow sticks to the branches? Indeed there is, Twinkle Leaf replied with a smile. The snowflakes have small, feathery structures that help them stick to surfaces. This allows the snow to stay on the branches, creating this breathtaking snowy scene. As they reached a snowy hilltop, Emily and Twinkle Leaf spotted children gleefully sledding down the slope. The sight filled their hearts with joy and laughter. Winter is a time for fun and play too, Twinkle Leaf said. But it's also a season to stay warm and cozy, protecting ourselves from the cold by wearing layers and seeking shelter. Emily nodded, appreciating the balance of wonder and responsibility that winter brought. The season taught her to find joy in the magic of snowflakes and frost, while also understanding the importance of staying safe and prepared. Throughout the seasons, Emily learned valuable lessons about the environment, the importance of conservation, and the magic of nature. With Twinkle Leaf's guidance, she discovered that learning could be an adventure filled with enchanting discoveries. Back in the human village, Emily shared her newfound knowledge with her friends. They were captivated by her stories, and together, they formed the Enchanted Forest Club where they would explore and learn about the natural world.